I, I don't know why I have to have another one. I don't know if that's just part of like the echo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. Um, I just pulled into. Sorry. Um, let me see. Let me turn that on. Okay, I'm better. Um, I just pulled in a, to my doctor appointment. I'm actually seeing a specialist today. I'm having the um, fetal echo done. It's stark out because it's. <laughs> My appointment's at 7.30, so 6.20 right now, so I really should go check in, but um, basically um, my doctor referred me to a specialist um, just because with IVF babies, there's a higher um, there's a higher chance that there could be like a heart defect or something like that, um, but I have already had my anatomy scan um, with my OB, and he didn't find anything concerning. Um, in regards to the heart or anything else um, but because it is an IVF baby they're just taking that extra precaution so referred me out um, and yeah it took like about four weeks for me to get in I'm not too concerned um, because we did have a normal anatomy scan but um, it's still a little worrisome because you know appointments are always um, like a trigger for me so I'm not expecting anything bad though. I'm going in with that mindset. Um, but I'm actually really excited that I get to see the baby because it's been, wow, almost 10 weeks. I'll be 28 weeks tomorrow. No, sorry, 28 weeks in two days. And the last time we had an ultrasound was for my 18 week anatomy scan. So it's been 10 weeks, so it'll be nice to be able to see baby and not just hear the heartbeat um, with the Doppler. But yeah, I should probably go check in. I'm sure I have some paperwork to fill out. And if they let me record, I'll try to catch some footage for you guys. If not, I will fill you in after the appointment.
All right, guys. Well, I got done with my appointment um, for the fetal echo. Um, I was able to get some footage. The appointment was, I would say, probably like 45 minutes long. And really all she looked at was the heart. So um, that was very in-depth. I almost fell asleep. Like just laying there because I didn't really know what she was looking for um, and I'm not the type of person that likes to ask questions um, because um, I know that they need to focus so I don't want her to miss anything I don't want to like distract her or anything like that and then also because I know that they can't say much so it would just be pointless for me to try to like ask questions and bug her and just disrupt her basically so um, when it was all done um, she did say that she was going to send it over to the cardiologist and that he was going to review it and then um, he would send it over to the referring OB and I know they don't really show like any emotion facial expressions things like that um, so I mean I think that it went well like she didn't um, seem concerned but again um, I know that they're probably like trained to do that um, but the heartbeat was at 152 I believe I'm just really confused though because um, I think she was like measuring different parts of the heart like different chambers because um, like certain ones said they had like a different reading and stuff so but I think the one like overall like the general one was 152 she did say that the baby was moving around a lot um but that she was able to get some really good pictures so he was super active during that appointment um which i could feel so he was just kicking me and stuff and they're really strong now so <laughs> some of those are starting to hurt already but anyway so i did not tell you guys i actually have another appointment um i'm in the parking lot of that office now um my, that appointment is in 15 minutes and this one is an in-depth anatomy scan i'm not sure what that is um originally the um echo and the scan were supposed to be together but due to scheduling or something like that they had to break them apart so i had like an hour in between um i don't know um, that kind of sucked, but um, I just went to Fred Meyer and just walked around and killed some time because it was pointless for me to go home. But I'm here. Um, Eric's not here. He's at work. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not too worried now because the, the the echo, he looked good in the echo. He was, like I said, moving around a lot. Um, but I'm not gonna lie like when I had to lay down on that table my heart started beating so fast and uh, I know that at this point like I should not feel this worried um, but I, I ultrasounds just seriously just get to me they are so triggering like I said earlier um, and I was alone so it's always so nice to have Eric there um, but he, like I said, he's at work, so he was not able to be there. And yeah, um, but as soon as I saw the RB, I instantly felt a lot calmer. Um, and I'm sure that they'll probably be able to explain a lot more here in the anatomy scan because they're not just looking at the heart. Um, I, I don't know why I have to have another one. I don't know if that's just part of like the echo or um, yeah, my doctor hasn't like mentioned anything um that he's concerned with um but i told eric um we've already met our deductible for the year i took the day off so um i'm just gonna go ahead and keep the appointment i can totally feel like kicking right now but um i'm actually really excited for this one uh because it's gonna be you know not just the heart so i'm gonna go in um and Hopefully this one doesn't take too long. I am so tired. <clears throat> I did have cereal for breakfast, so at least I ate. But I just want to go home. <sighs> Sorry. I just want to go home and relax. And yeah, anyway, I'll fill you guys in. Um, and if I get any footage here, I'll go ahead and insert it in this video as well.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights 